All right, I got Shafer with me today. He's going to be my cameraman. So we're down here on the property, brought the four wheelers, and we're going to show you how to do some ridge lines. So I got three types of ridge lines. I got your 1.75 millimeter zingot. I got a two. <laughs> I got a 2.2 millimeter uh, <laughs> Dyneema rope, and I have a uh, paracord ridge line. This is what I've been using on the trips. This is what I use when I backpack grow ultralight. And this is somewhere in the middle. Let me show you all three. So I'm going to start with the 1.75 millimeter zingot style line. It's a Dyneema rope. It's got your little Dutch bling on there. I got a Dutch hook and I got a wasp, which is my favorite connector type. And then I use Prusix and S beaners. Just happen to like that little setup. A lot of different ways to do it. not the easiest hook to get in there when your fingers are cold and wet and it hurts but it is very lightweight and it's very simple and simple is always good all right so you got your wasp if you're not familiar with these this is a great piece of equipment also titanium it it moves a little bit if you tighten it but it hooks in on itself so it doesn't but when you want to move it to where you need it close to the tree pull yourself a little loop out and just walk it you get it where you're about to where you want to be you take the loop, wrap it around the little stinger, pull it tight, and that locks it in place on the ridge line. That will not go anywhere. So now you go around the tree and you put your rope through the head of the wasp, if you see that there. See the head? Your rope goes through that and you get your mechanical advantage. Pull that a little bit tight, wrap it, Wrap it around the wing and it's set. Now on all my ridge lines, I use Prusix. You can use the Nama gear. You can use different things. I just like the Prusix, they're kind of fail safe. I also use a number two plastic S-beaner because it fits my tarp uh, straps. It fits everything I need it to do. It doesn't weigh that much and there's a million ways to do it. This is the way I like to do it. Now the Dyneema rope is very slick rope and Prusix don't hold quite as well on these as some of the other fiber type ropes. What you need to do is just give it a few more wraps on your Prusik knots. I usually do five, and it's 1.75 on 1.75. You can hang on that, it's not gonna move. So that's the Dyneema Ridgeline, 1.75 millimeter. Advantages, super lightweight, takes up very little space. It's simple to put up. The downside is, the smaller the line you're working with, the more it hurts your fingers if it's very cold and your fingers are stinging and it's icy. It's just harder to work with. That's probably the only downside to the thin rope. Next up is kind of the other side of the spectrum and this is 550 paracord and I use my Night Eyes cam lock and this is the aluminum one. Do not get the plastic Night Eyes, get the aluminum Night Eyes. And this one I've used for hundreds and hundreds of nights the rope is well it doesn't really tear your rope up these things last they don't rust up they're a good quality piece of gear a little bit bulkier than most backpackers want to carry and that's understandable but I'm kayak camping most of the time so it just isn't really an issue for me so this just unwraps just as easy as the other and you're on your way just any carabiner will work on here. Doesn't have to be anything special. Hook it around the tree, like every other carabiner and rope hooks around a tree. Now, you know, it's a rope and it's a tree. It's not that hard to hook a rope to a tree. People want to make this like into rocket science, but basically you need a way to make a rope go around a tree and be tight so you can hang something on it. And then you can do that a million ways. This is just another. But when I go around the tree, I come around this way each time because that allows me to get to the right side, operating side. Pull the rope with your hand, push the cam lock to the tree, and pull it, and it's done. It's even easier than the wasp. As you can see, we have two strings hanging on a tree. Both of them, they'll carry a tarp. Both of them...
<laughs> All right, so now we have two options on the tree. We have the 1.75 millimeter zingot. We have the 5.5 millimeter paracord. The advantage of this is bigger, it's cheaper, you can find it everywhere. It's easier to work with cold fingers. Downsides, it's a little heavier, it's a little bulkier, and it has a little bit of stretch. It's never been an issue for me. Some people say you can't use it because it stretches. I have hundreds of nights under this particular, I mean this actual piece of paracord, probably four or five hundred nights as a ridge line that I've used it. It's fine, it's in good shape, it doesn't stretch to the point where it's an issue. In between these two options is another option. This is 2.2 millimeter Dyneema rope. It's just like the Zingit, it's just a thicker diameter. One side I have a small carabiner, the other side I have my aluminum cam lock. You guessed it, we're hooking a carabiner to a rope. There it is. Let's go to the other side. Again, go around the tree this direction, hook it in there, pull the rope tight, done. That's 2.2 millimeter Dyneema rope. I guess I should point out another advantage to the Dyneema is that it doesn't wick water like the paracord will. As you see, my system on all these is Prusix and Espiners, and I have four Prusix per ridge line. The outside two are for my tarp, the inside two are for hanging lights or anything else I need underneath the tarp. So basically you're looking for a system that you can get out there and use and it be easy for you, the same every time, and accomplish what you need to accomplish, which is hanging a tarp over a ridge line. Um, does it matter like you have a bunch of lines running through your face? I, I know. Okay, so we've given you three options for your ridge line. I prefer a continuous ridge line which just means it goes from tree to tree versus a tie out on either end of your tarp. I don't like that because it stresses the tarp especially under a heavy load with snow or, or water or ice. So a good strong ridge line this is 500 something pounds that's 550 this is a thousand pound tensile strength. If you need more than a thousand pound strength for your ridge line on your tarp you're doing some other things wrong. So I like the Prusix, I like the Espiners. I do four on each one. These stay on the ridge line at all times, so when I grab one out of the bag, it's ready to go. Um, that's your ultra lightweight. It's just a little harder when it's wet and cold. That's easy, cheap. It's rugged. Um, I've used them tons and tons. This is another uh, good option. This doesn't wick as well. The purpose is to hang a tarp over your head. As long as you're getting that done and you like what you're doing, you're ready to go. Watch the magic, people. Wow. So you got your tarp clipped in. You would want to center this over the area you are sleeping. Throw your tarp over the ridge line. Nice and tight. Maybe you care about this, maybe you don't. This is what I use for my, my uh, tie-out points. You can use basically anything you got. I've got spools of 1.5 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 1.75 millimeter, 550, Zing it, Dyneema, it's all out there. This is $4 at Walmart. It's Coughlin's line. It's the cheapest stuff out there. I kind of like it because it breaks under a lot of pressure. Like say, uh, the wind's blowing 50 miles an hour on the Greenbrier. Or that guy in your camp walks through your tarp set and hits your line and everything's banjo tight. Something's going to break. Might as well be the cheap line, not your expensive stuff. Just undo your guy line like that, no tangles. S beaner, clip, done. All right, fold it over once, grab the leading edge, boom. Do it again. Fold it over, reach through it, grab the tail end, you got it. Go around your tree, come through the loop, Get your mechanical advantage, get, get it where you want it to be. Just make one loop through there. This is a trucker's hitch, or there's some other names, but keep it organized, and that's not going anywhere. Finished product, there's a tarp on a string. 